Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Nugget of Truth time with Pastor Matt because the sign says so. It's Friday, uh, so that's great. It's so nice outside that I actually opened up the window a little bit and then stuff was flying all over. I had to close it a bit, but I still got it open a bit. Anyways, um, so hey, tomorrow is our all church meeting at nine o'clock. We have so much to celebrate. I, I don't know what you're thinking about this time. It's more than just an informational meeting. It's a chance to celebrate all the good things that God's been doing, and uh, so we're really looking forward to that. We have breakfast at 8.30. A ton of you have been RSVPing. I think my phone's ringing with more for breakfast, and um, so if you can join us tomorrow at 8.30. I ordered extra, so you, you probably don't even have to RSVP at this point, but um, if you want to let us know, please do. I sent a text out to most of you. Anyways, nugget of truth. Number 265. This is pretty good. And it's the opposite of what we think. If you're not facing headwinds and obstacles, then you're not accomplishing anything of value for God. Calm, smooth sailing, and easy progression are not the evidences that change is happening. Like I said, it's opposite uh, of what we think. But let this truth sink in. I hope you get what it's saying. If you're not facing troubles, then you're not accomplishing anything of real value for God. We're in a spiritual battle. And and if if your sword's not getting used, then then what what good is happening? Um, calm, smooth sailing, and easy progression are not the evidences that change is happening. Change requires effort. We want to see things change. It's going to take some effort. This is true for us personally, and it's true for us corporately. And we all desire a life of ease. We all desire smooth sailing. I get it. I'm, I'm first in line. My hand's up first for that. Um, but if we're not facing opposition, then what are we doing of eternal value? And um, so I want you to think about that. How that applies to you, it applies to us as individuals. I think it applies to us as a church. If everything is just going great at the church and we're not running into issues, we're not running into problems, we're not running into obstacles, I think it's fair to ask, what are we doing? We, we, need, this, we need to give ourselves more challenges. We, we need to put ourselves in a place where we're going to get opposed. And um, that's a challenging thought right there. So anyways, thanks for joining us for this nugget. Hope you had a great week. Hope you could join us tomorrow, 8.30 for breakfast, 9 o'clock for the update meeting. Tomorrow night, Saturday 6. Uh, Sunday at 9. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.